Hey guys, this is iOS Info First here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to unjailbreak your iOS device. Of course, many people are like unhappy with their jailbreak, uh, but it's really awesome. Uh, you know, unhappy are like reasons, are like you know, uh, speed because you know, uh, installing Syria and jailbreaking your device reduces speeds dramatically. It's it it really gets slow. I have installed it on my iPod Touch fourth generation, and you know, it's really really slow. But you know, uh, looking on its advantages, I can neglect the speed. So. Uh, but even though I'm going to show you how to uninstall uh, Cydia and uh, unjailbreak your device, uh, it's very simple for the people who are having iOS 5.1.1 or below. Uh, what it, what they guys need to do is uh, you just need to click on uh, open up iTunes, plug in your device, and uh, click on restore. Uh, it will you know start downloading iOS 6 firmware and you will be updated and unjailbroken on uh, iOS 6 but if you are if you have already downloaded the firmware iOS 6 you just need to click shift plus restore on a PC and uh, option plus restore on a Mac and uh, you can select the iOS 6 firmware and restore your device now what I'm going to show you guys that how to unjailbreak your device uh, that is the threaded jailbreak break or the semi unthreaded jailbreak on your iOS 6 device as I am right now on my iPod touch fourth generation so what you guys need to do is you need to first put your device in the DFE mode it's very simple how to do it just turn off your device and uh, wait for a second and I think iTunes now will forget my device you know as you can see I have got a lot of speed you know related options here because it takes a lot of while in rebooting uh, rebooting right so now you guys need to hold the power button for three seconds that is uh, three two one and then hold the home button and the power button for 10 seconds that is uh, seven five four three two one and uh, then release the power button and keep holding the home button I think it will recognize my device as you can see I have got the option here uh, which states I'll zoom in a bit iTunes has detected an iPod in the recovery mode you must restore before it can be used to I'll click OK and you need to shift plus restore or options plus restore um, as I said before on a Mac or on uh, Windows uh, if you have already downloaded a firmware or if you do not have you can just click on restore it will start downloading so just click on restore and uh, go to the firmware and click on open uh, I had found a problem in that software, but I have got uh, I've likely got that so I'll just click on restore and uh, I'll be right back after the restore is completed Uh, as you can see I have nearly completed uh, my iOS uh, activation and what I'm gonna do is just click on continue that's my iPod uh, I'll be right back click on that and I'm uh, just going to set up as a new iPod uh, agree agree 
and the automatically listen it's all right start using ipod touch uh, as you can see i have a fresh restore on uh, ios 6 and i'm all done okay so here we are as you can see i have a fresh restore and uh, no more cedia nothing else it's quite amazing to see so thanks guys for watching this video again and uh, i'll see you in the next video where i'm going to show you how to jailbreak your ios 6 device that is an ipod touch uh fourth generation uh second generation ipad uh iphone 4 and iphone 3g s of course so thanks guys again for watching this video and uh, see you in the next video again peace